Comes on silent. Yeah, a quick question. When I do your Instagram video. Hello, I can't shake the simplicity. We are ghosts. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, I reach the mysterious seas. My home. All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the third episode of Coffee with Kendall. I'm, of course, Kendall. <laughs> you can see, that's my name. Um, and, man, it was a great week. Had a lot of fun. Let me just make this drink real quick. Cause, believe it or not, I actually don't have coffee before the show. I don't, it's not like a, I'm not like getting amped up or anything. I just feel like having too much caffeine before the show stress me out. <laughs> so, so th I actually do wait until the show to make my morning coffee. At least on Mondays. Uh, but man, what a fun week. Uh, actually, my beautiful girlfriend Mika's birthday yesterday. So we went to Catalina Island, which was really fun. Zip lining. So, so amazing. We had such a great time. And uh, I was happy to be able to just, it was literally just the two of us. How often do you do that on a birthday? Just two people. Hey! <laughs> Happy birthday, Mika! Happy birthday, Mika! Oh, oh we love her. We love her. We, we didn't have any fun. Um, but Catalina's changed. Catalina's changed. Catalina's changed, everybody. But I jump into something real quick. So everyone's been talking. You know, like when you're doing something and everyone's like, "Hey, have you seen, have you seen have you seen this? Or have you seen that?" Oh, one second. Well, everyone's been saying that to me lately. They've been saying, "Have you seen what the hell?" Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dig in. Carney, have you seen it? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen what the hell? No. All right. So, three like that is everyone always has something to say. You really gotta see it. The evidence is amazing. And I'm like, guys, I just don't want to see it because I honestly don't want to be bombarded with that kind of information all the time, just because it kind of de depresses me a little bit. And I really do like. I do like me. All right, but let me, I digress. I watched it, okay? I finally watched it. And I have to say I was kind of impressed with the information. A lot of it was hard to understand. I don't agree with everything. But I will say I am totally on board with everybody eating more vegetables. I mean, that seems like a no-brainer. Veggies. Veggies. Yeah, veggies. veggies are good. Organic veggies. Organic veggies, exactly. Organic, Organic veggies. veggies. And, and look, so... The reason I bring this up is yesterday at Catalina, uh, we made a challenge. We wanted to pack all of our own food. I got this cool backpack that's kind of like a cooler, too. So we made a challenge to pack our own food. We went the whole day, yesterday and the day before, without having meat. And I have to tell you that I actually had meat cravings. <laughs> like, I, it's, a, it's a real thing. Meat like this, sweats. Meat sweats. No, but I had, I had meat cravings. And... And I thought that was kind of like a little interesting considering what they're talking about in this documentary. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not quite ready to say that I'm going to go vegetarian, but I think I'm really going to make an effort and try. I'm going to try. Okay? Eat your veggies! Eat your veggies! But this brings, since we're talking about health, let's sit down here for a second. I want to actually I want to sit down while I talk about this because this is too funny. We can bring the picture and picture up. Oh, is this a little low here? We can bring the picture and picture up and we can talk about this. So I found this amazing article. You gotta move it. Help me move the picture. <laughs> oh, just slide it on the thing. Like literally touch it. Oh. On the on the Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We're new. Go back. Help help us. Charlie the Cholo isn't here! No, Charlie, we miss you. There we go. There we go. It was and then it's over your head right now. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Hey! Back in action! We're still new to this! Not only am I the host, but I am also the tech geek as well. Technical so director. Technical director. It's really fantastic. Okay. Can you turn that towards me just a little bit, actually, so I can read those as well? <coughs> that's, that's it. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, Here, hold on, hold on. What do we got? I, I got to see this. This is, this is a new location for the TV, everybody. It's live! It's live! 
Um, oh, man, do we got a cool special guest today, by the way. I don't want to give away too much too soon, even though I tweeted about it multiple times last week. But All right, so let's see here. Can you zoom in a little bit? I got you. Oh, she's got me. Chewy's got it. Where would I be? Where would I be? You would be 99 facts short. About 99 you. facts <laughs> short. So this is what's interesting about this. All right, let's just... One through eight. Let's start, let's start from the top. One through eight. Mm -hmm. The only part of the body that has no blood supply is the cornea of the eye. It receives oxygen directly from the air. Yummy. I mean, did anybody know that? Thirsty eyeball. Did anybody know that? Anybody? Mm -hmm. I don't, that's why I didn't think so. The human brain has the memory capacity, which is equivalent of more than four terabytes on a hard drive. I'm not sure that you would need any more information than that in your head. But that is actually impressive. Because I don't know if you guys have ever loaded up four terabytes of information, but it usually is a lot of information. So considering all the ones and zeros, a newborn child can breathe and swallow at the same time for up to seven months. Wow. So can a stripper. Hey! I didn't get so I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, just morning kidding. joke. Good <laughs> the morning. <laughs> Your skull is made up of 29 different bones. That's one. I just thought it was one skull. <laughs> nerve impulses, sorry, I just thought it was one. Um, nerve impulses set from the brain move at 274 kilometers an hour, which I have no idea how fast it is because I work in miles. Anybody? Mm. Fast. A single human brain generates more electrical impulses in a day than all the telephones in the world combined. That's a pretty amazing fact. And the last one, here's number seven. Here's number seven and eight. That's more for you too if you want to. The average human body, oh, here's, we got some more here. I'm going to have everyone by the end of this. <laughs> Women's hearts beat faster than men's. Wow. That explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> the human embryo acquires fingerprints within the first three months of conception. That's kind of crazy. That's, wow. I have no idea. That's you can get political with that. <laughs> you could get political with that, guys. That's something you really, it's true. Honestly, that's a, that's a button topic right there. Um, Here's an interesting one. Right-handed people live, on average, nine years longer than left-handed people. Oh, oh um, See you guys on the line. About so two-thirds... He's a lefty. <laughs> Anyone here lefty? Anyone? No. Aha! <laughs> All right. About two-thirds tilt their head to the right when kissing. Really? Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm and last but not least... The average person forgets 90% of their dreams. I forget 90% of everything. So I don't know what <laughs> that write has to down. do with anything. Write it down. Write make it a down. list. If there's anything I learned from Mika, it's maybe Use your terabytes. <laughs> All right. So, guys, um, as you know, we did shop finds last week. Uh, I found this amazing camera. I had you guys send in a whole bunch of tweets that say uh, hashtag copy with Kindle, hashtag thrift shop finds, hashtag... Hashtag everything, really. But anyway, you all did it. And as I'm going through, I'm, I'm, I'm how, how do I pick, how do I pick one person? It, because especially so many people put a whole list of tweets. And so if I'm scrolling through to pick someone at random, there's a good chance that 50 of the ones that I'm scrolling are the same person and I might pick that one person. So I was like racking my mind and I was like, you know what? I'll pick 10 random people off the people that did it. And then I was like, I feel so bad. Okay, 15. I'll do 15. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, let's just make it an even 20. You know? <laughs> so, so How many is it? 20. It's okay. 20. <laughs> so, so I put them all in this little uh, jar here. Mason jar. Mason jar. Probably. There's, there's 20 in here. Okay. And they're all individual names. So I didn't like pick any, any copies. So the lucky winner. Of Kendall's find, which is a Discovery 265 Zoom, is <laughs> is Kendo at Kendo X Drive. Hey! Congratulations! Hey! Congratulations! Hey! All right, Kendo so X Drive. We're gonna reach out to you. We'll find you. We're gonna find you. Find you. And we're gonna get your address, and we're gonna send you this camera. So free of charge. Courtesy of Coffee with Kendall. Congratulations, congratulations. Hey! That's amazing. That's just amazing. God.
All right, now we got a couple fan questions I wanted to, you guys have wrote down, and I wanted to read some to you. Okay, so we got three here, and then, guys, we got to move on, because, again, we got a special guest. Special guest, the guest. So fan questions, the, the guest. Fan questions for Kendall. All right, at sexy guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> this must be the wrong question. Somehow, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> What? <laughs> somehow I've gotten used to these names. It's kind of crazy. You know, like, I, it's one of those things where I, the first time I ever saw, like, an at Kendall's something, like, wife, I was shocked. And I, it's weird. I feel like I've kind of gotten used to it. But still, at Schmidt Sexy Guy, what's your favorite Italian dish? I think this, she's from Italy. This is why she's asking. Um, oddly enough, it took going to Italy so many times for me to love it, eggplant parmesan. And just so you guys here in the States know, chicken parmesan is not Italian food. I have been told from the source. Olive Garden. Olive Garden is not Italian food. It's not Italian. So I, I can almost guarantee that Olive Garden will not be sponsoring the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, Ooh breadsticks. <laughs> Next one. Logie underscore Rush 89. Is there any instrument you don't know how to play that you would love to learn? Actually, this just came to my head. A theremin. What's anyone, that? Anyone know what a theremin is? A theremin is an instrument that is played with electrical impulses. There's like a bar and a thing like this, and you go like, Ooh. Really interesting. Did you? Are you gonna find them? Yeah, one second. I got one second. Theremin. They make they make like modern too, like super cool. You're the coolest guy ever with a theremin. Look at this old lady doing it. We got something? Yeah. This this picture here. Airman. That's it? Old school. That's the old one. Courtesy NBC. 1930. Yeah, thanks everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, last question. At Kendall's Fun Fair. Do you ever get writer's block? How often and how do you overcome it? That's actually a great question, and the answer is yes, absolutely. Sometimes you go to the studio, you want to do something, and you just can't come up with anything. And my opinion of how to deal with that is to just move on and don't do something that day. Like, if the studio is that hard and you're getting writer's block, just go do something else. I don't know, paint a picture or something. <laughs> and and it really, it'll come back around. You just have to have the patience and everything. But that's a great question, and thank you for asking it. All right, guys. I have a special guest today. By the way, I, 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 I tweeted out a whole bunch of stuff. This kid is... Amazing. I, I discovered him because he had posted a video of him doing some stuff, uh, jumping off of his balcony in his house, in his pillows, listening to, was it Windows Down? One of those songs. And, and I just thought it was amazing because, first of all, he's got some serious balls. And second of all, I found out he's from Kansas, which is from Wichita. Um, and, I mean, it's a small town, so there's not many people. So... Kansas natives. So everybody, do me a favor, make some noise for Tanner Brungard. Hey! Watch your step. It's a, it's a tender. Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe yeah. in. Yeah. Are you I'm so good. Thank have you. a seat. Which one do I look at? This is like the. You know what we don't have? We don't have red lights that pop up to show. Okay. So what we have is West. We have West going. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank How many you. times have you been to California? Uh, like, probably once or twice a month for the last six months. Okay, so a lot. Just, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how do you get so far? He's like, I, I actually have, I have a place here now, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want that. one, but, you know, we're looking to get something insane, but, you know, we're... we're Could I recommend? Yeah, sure. Don't get something insane. Yeah. <laughs> this place... Dude, this house is amazing. Thank you. I this love is, this house. This is what I would call the epitome of a California bungalow. Yeah. So I would recommend a place like like this. This is just so bias. Yeah, yeah. Bias. I put all this those for the show. I think it really, you know, yeah. this place. But hey, you, you don't. Good. How old are you? I'm all oh, seventeen. Oh, that's great! Hey! Right. Hey! Hey! So, so you. Needless to say, you don't drink coffee. No, probably no. not. No. Um, Try it. Can I? <laughs> Uh, no, pressure, no, coffee. No, don't. I really don't want to because it's a problem. Okay, it becomes a problem. Okay, so would you like a hot chocolate? Sure. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hot chocolate. I can make hot them. Chocolate. 
Oh. We're doing this. I'll ask you a couple questions while I'm making this hot chocolate. Okay. I already have the it kind of set up here. All right. But uh, so we're both from Wichita. Yeah. So my first question for you is how much do you love Quick Trip? <laughs> oh, we, we live right by one. Okay. I go there for gas because they have like tons of pumps, you know? They but, got lots of gas. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I, I've only gone in there like five times, probably ever. Can we honest, just talk about how amazing that place is? It is everything, like the best gas station. Yeah, for honest. those of you who don't know, we're talking about a gas station. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of stuff we're excited about in Kansas. Hey, did you see your new Quick Trip opened up? <laughs> <laughs> big gulp. <laughs> Bigger big gulps. Right around the corner. Let's see, how many scoops? Two, two tablespoons for... It's a small hot chocolate, so I'll do a little one and a half here. And, uh, yeah, dude, I had to ask you that question because that's like, yeah. when I was we growing up, like, right by one, like, literally on a new house. Amazing. Amazing. So, is, did you guys remove the railing to do that stuff? Yeah, we did. And we full, figured, full permission from parents, from everything? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> we figured, wow. you know, it's for the videos, it's for the fans, it's for the fun. So you might as well. Like you guys had that slip and slide and big time rush. Yeah. In the apartment. Yeah. And obviously you have something like that. You know what? Carlos still has that slide. Really? Yeah, he has it. It's well, it's in storage probably. Yeah. It's either in storage or he took that slide to Hawaii, which is crazy. Is that where he lived? He moved to Hawaii. Oh my god. Right? I'm it's going like there August twelfth. August twelfth. Where are you yeah. going? Tell everybody if you're gonna go do something. Uh probably just cliff jumping. It's kinda of like a vacation actually. We went last year, my mom was, and uh, it was just so much fun, so we decided we'd go back. Yeah. Now, you have to have to say, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Windows Down. You yeah. Know that, you know that I video, right? That video, yeah. Uh, where'd you guys film that? Was it on the video? That was in, uh, actually, that was in Maui. Maui, okay. Yeah, yeah we Maui. only went to the Big Island. It was there at South Point. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, it's, it's honestly awesome. It's so sick. I <laughs> got you here, buddy. It's like the coolest cup. You can, like, see it. Yeah, it's for, you know, for coffee drinkers. <laughs> and cocoa drinkers. <laughs> so, you know, needless to say, there's a little bit of um, chocolate chunks in here, but right. you know what? I love, that's my favorite right. part. Is made, by it's all, it's all made by me. Mm -hmm. And it's got almond milk. How is it? So good. Is it good? Hey, happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. So I got a couple quick questions because we have an activity that I want to get into, but how did you get into trampoline? Is it something that... That is just what I started doing. Whenever I was like seven to eight years old, I started doing it for fun. And my dad bought me my first trampoline, and I kind of stopped doing traditional sports because I just, I wanted to, you know, to do by myself in a way. I just wanted to do that. And that, I, I mean, kids at school obviously didn't like it, and I was just like, you know, I was an outcast. I went from being like, Kid. Ooh. Ooh. Kids can be mean. Kids suck. Yeah. So then I did that, but I was posting them to my Instagram at first, and that got like no traction, obviously. And but then I just put them on YouTube, and then they started growing more and more, and then vlogging. And that's what made the whole big thing, and that's what I've just kept going. So. It reminded me a lot of myself. Well, by the way, congratulations. Thank you. I blew up. Thank you. Um, it reminded me a lot of myself because Kevin knows we used to jump off our roof in Kansas on the trampoline. Yeah. And then they also used to do this thing where because I was the youngest, uh, they would put me in the middle and do like a, a double bounce. Uh huh. You yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. And, it would, and, it would, and it would hurt me. It would crack. It would really hurt me. <laughs> I actually have a scar under really? here. From I did a front flip when I was younger, and I landed too much of this, and I went, you oh, know, yeah, like yeah. out, and I landed chin on the end of the trampoline. I've landed about every way you can. Yeah. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Superman. I'm sure you have. The reason yeah. I ask is because, like I said, I grew up doing that too, and it's like, I always thought, like, there has to be something you can do with yeah. trampoline more than just have fun with friends, you know? But that's yeah. amazing. You know why it's funny on YouTube? Because people do go on YouTube sometimes and type in things like, crazy trampoline. Yeah, that's me. That's yeah, all I did right? throughout yeah. the whole middle school. And insane cliff jumping, like those are my tags now. Yeah. That's no, what no, I, no. Like I know there's probably other kids out there looking, so Yeah, it's that that's amazing. That's amazing. But um so because you love trampolines so much, yeah. We wanted to sort of make yeah, it make one. it home for you here. You have one? One. <laughs> yeah. I have two. Really? Yeah, I got two trampolines. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do some I wasn't told about this. Yeah. 
There's some really cool stuff in here. We're gonna have to make a little space. Okay. Make a little space. We're gonna have oh, to. This is gonna man. be a. This is gonna be a, an no, adjustment. We're gonna have to turn these around. Let's here we go. Minute. No, I'll turn it. Keep it this way. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to make it. Don't turn it around. You don't want to see all these ugly mugs around here. Okay. All right. Let's move this. This is an on-camera adjustment, and because this is part of a little competition that we, I want to do with you. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Just one. This is the best movie I've ever seen. Though. Well, you know, we do our research. Okay. Two, Kendall. Here, you can move that chair over to the side there. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's almost. I almost I feel like we should almost do the entire interview on a trampoline. I feel like it's your home. Are you going to get a trampoline tattoo one day? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I got one tattoo though. My rose on my wrist. Have you seen that? Woo! How was it? <laughs> Excruciating, right? Yeah, yeah. I have nine and it doesn't get any better. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any better. In fact, mine are all on my back and that's where I want to keep it. Yeah, yeah. See, the roof. Well, it's a life. Yeah, but we're, we're not going to be doing, you know, we're just going to be doing. I would do a flip for your, yeah. for your live stream. Not in, you couldn't do a flip in here. It's too tight. I don't want to hurt you. Look, we don't have insurance. <laughs> I mean, we do. We do. <laughs> there we go. You want to explain this game a little bit? All right, so this, this game is, um, I want to mix athleticism okay. with some guessing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to guess BTR songs. Sped up. Oh. Is it only sped and up and slow down, down. and extremely and slow down, down. Right. while that jumping? Makes it harder. All right. You know? While jumping, and it can't be this. Hey, you gotta be jump. You gotta be like okay. <laughs> this, okay? And we're gonna be sweaty. I'm already a little pitted. It's all right. All right. <laughs> I'm human. Okay. You ready for this? Can yeah. Try this. Well, here we go. Let's sit here. Hold on. Well, we need to start because I'm gonna get worn out. <laughs> By the way, how's this set? Great. I'm like, look, I'm like looking at him on the monitor, I'm like, wow, it looks so cool! <laughs> Alright. Do you think it's ready? Uh, well, I'm about to try to get you switch it. speakers. These are pretty good, right? Get my warm up in, yeah. Watch out for the. Anytime I've ever started, I never warmed up, so this is. Don't yeah. try this at home. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, let me just start. And it's whoever guesses it first wins right. that point. Right. How many we got there? Eleven so Okay. <clears throat> so it's about I'm just gonna stop it as soon as you guess it right, and there's about eleven in a row, so here we go. How long are they actually total? Like how long fifteen seconds. Okay. So you should be able to figure it out. All right, I think okay. we know your VTR. So tell us okay. when to go. Here we go. Go. <laughs> Music sounds ah! oh! That's good, that's the one. Take a minute, take a minute, yeah. take a minute. Alright. Tally up who's uh who's ahead. Hold on, we gotta know my big time rush. Yeah. Okay. Just I'm embarrassed. Hair. YouTube inside joke. I was in the band. <laughs> this is my childhood. I was in the band through the TV. You were in the band. You, you probably were in the band. All right. One second. All right. One. That one's like my favorite, though, so I don't know. You know. Here we go. Next one. Oh, windows down. Hey! hey! So I heard, I heard. Oh, yeah. Oh, we had 
Lost Art got the last one right. There. Was he got Tanner got the last one right? It was City of Stars. Was last one City of Stars? I don't no, know. It was. That was oh yeah. I think it was that City was, of Stars. Oh, yeah. We just. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It All right, fun. so Tanner, Tanner, it's actually three to two. Yeah. Okay. I have a big time rush playlist with like fifteen songs. So if they're out of that playlist, you might not know them. Okay. I think we only have about eleven, so you might have them all. Mine. These see. are the top. These are the top hits. Ooh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, on there. Oh yeah, it's great. Oh wow. Is that it? You're right. Oh my gosh, yeah. I didn't know that one. I can recognize the slow down Jordan Sparks anywhere. Oh, yeah. Anywhere. I remember that episode. And then it was a music video and it was black and white. One, two, three, four, two, five. I'm <laughs> I just my favorite part is to the yeah. One, two, three, four, to the five. <laughs> Who says that? To the five. Anyway, we, we did. Jump. Fire rolls the world. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Featuring. Ayaz. Yeah, that's. Don't you know what your boy I Y A Z? Yeah. yeah. And big time rush. Yeah, okay. That's it. Alright. <sighs> What's the score at? right now? What's the score? Uh, I think it's 3 3. 3 3. Yeah, no, thank no, you, Mom. Four. <laughs> I think three, four. Three, four. No, 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 you yeah. got three left. You get to throw the curveball in there. You should not. I know, but you know. There's three left, so technically, oh. Well, we did 75 songs. It's a lot to remember. Yeah. Yeah. One second. And Where are we at now? We're at five, it's three. five three. to three. And yes, we and got three, three more. songs left. Okay, so I got to get all three. Focus. Focus. Here we go. Uh, uh, we are. Uh, we are. So we got it. He got it. It means you can't win. I cannot win. Does that mean we got a winner? We have a winner! Yay! Yay! All right, well, let's, uh, you know what? Rather than move everything back again, just sit let's on just sit on the trampoline. Yeah. Because this is going to be too much, and I don't really feel like doing it. Take a breather. Take a breather. Oh. I did have one more question for you, and I'm curious. This is something that I'd like to ask most people uh, who I bring on. So you're 17, you just turned 17, you got yeah. all this success from YouTube and just having yeah. fun, being a kid, and like working hard, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. you edit your stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're obviously yeah. working hard. Yeah. Sorry the pig's making a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> she knows it's coming up. She knows it's um, but the question, I, someone quiet her down because this is an important question. Right. Well, I'm throwing her a cucumber. All right. You know, we go? That, Calm you down there, yeah, Piggy. That, that, yeah, yeah. So the question, I'm all hot. <laughs> the question I wanted to ask, hold on. The question I wanted to ask was, after, you know, you're, you're 17, 18, 19, 20, mm -hmm. success keeps coming. Let's say you, you make uh -huh. a good amount of money, yeah. you know, and you save your money. and you. What, do you have anything in the back of your head? That says, I need to do this later in life. This thing, um, I'll give you an example, right. like something to contribute, like a purpose. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Well, see, right now we've worked for, we've been looking for like charities and stuff, and that's what also I want to get into because, like, whenever we were looking for houses out here for the second time, that was like the point where I was like, all right, I need to do like to get back already. Um, make a wish. We've like reached out to them. I really want to do that. That's like. That's great. In the world. That's great. Um, long term, like I, I don't know if I could act and stuff like. That. I know, you know, like, <laughs> but I think you can. I don't know, but yeah, you make it look easy. There's a lot of things I want to do that I haven't tried. Right now, it's only been YouTube. I've only, like made an album with some, uh, some other artists. I mean, I obviously can't sing, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, long distance. I don't know. Every meeting I go into, when I talk to the people, they ask me that and. You know, every time I go into a new meeting, there's usually a different answer. 
or at least added on to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let me give you a further example. <clears throat> like, like I have music as my main focus. Yeah. It's what I, it's what I live for. Obviously, just any entertainment, it's, it's what I do. I yeah. love it. But I would love to, to be able to have security with finances and everything in life that in later, when I'm older, yeah. like I want to go and study to be an aeronautical engineer. Okay. And why? Because I really find airplanes fascinating. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I have a really good brain. <laughs> and I feel like I can contribute to society. Yeah, the world. In the world, in that fashion, maybe yeah. I'm. Maybe I was an entertainer when I was young. as an adult. I contributed something to aeronautical yeah, history, you know. And so that's like, it's just a small idea. It's a dream of mine. But mm-hmm. like, you know, do those things ever pop up? Do you have passions that you're like, man, I love building stuff, right? Uh-huh. You know. Uh-huh. Well, in school, I always knew I, whatever I did, I didn't, didn't want to sit behind a desk. And I think that'll last for as long as I still want that. I'm not. But, I mean, you're a little bit older, so I have time to think and, yeah. like, find yeah. out. Because, I mean, right now, I'm trying and trying to, you know, figure out what I really want to do. Like, right now, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing. So That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. It's like I forget that I'm 26. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, so what do you want to do, man? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have, like, nine years on you. And I can tell you that you I don't have a full have house on me. Yeah, I'm well, you house. know what? So I can, comfy. But I can tell you. I don't have it any more figured out than you do. Okay. Regardless of success, yeah. touring the world, tons of fans. See, I've always wondered, like, with doing it in Nickelodeon on TV, and how that would change. Because I've always done everything by myself in my room. I can be whoever I want on a camera in my room. You know, differed. I've done one acting job, and it was the cringiest thing in the whole world. <laughs> and it was so bad. Like, oh, I didn't even watch the bloopers they sent because I did not want to, like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I've always wondered, like, being in front of all the people and all that. I mean, obviously, it would be a lot of fun, but. Well, like I said, it doesn't matter how old you get. It's not any to figure out. You really just have to follow your dreams, follow your passion. Yeah. And anything that you want to do, you know, like, in, 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 in life, working with big companies and stuff, of course, you have to play ball. But yeah, what, the yeah. reason that they love you mm-hmm. is because of you. Yeah. So never sacrifice that. You yeah. know, never sacrifice Dude, I do my music independently because I couldn't bear to have somebody dice and slice my stuff up. Yeah, you know? that's true. And it's harder, but it's better. Yeah. So that's my advice. I don't even know if you wanted advice, but that's <laughs> <my> <laughs> advice. I did. I needed some. Hey, kids, stay in school. Eat yeah. your veggies. Eat your veggies. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, it's your birthday today. Yeah. Right? So we wanted to give you a special present. Combine one of our favorite segments on the show. Okay. So you like cupcakes, yeah? Yeah. Great. Right. So we'll start with this one. Oh, Here, let me get that real quick. So big. All right, everybody. Happy Happy friend here because <laughs> she she gets really jealous when oh. someone gets a cupcake and she does not so <laughs> so let's do this just real quick all right all right so that you can put yours down or actually you know take a bite i'll put mine okay I'll take a bite <laughs> yuma <laughs> yuma come she comes <laughs> come on <laughs> a little pork there's pork Pigs in california here here you give her a nice couple bites yeah, let's open up. Can you? Can we see her? Hey, Tanner, s- s- slide up. Open up a little. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, she's ready. Here. Oh. Here. Aww. Aww. She got took the fork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that yeah. pretty little girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. I never thought <laughs> feeding a pig for the first time would be in California. <laughs> <laughs> or ever at all. <laughs> It's almost like she's all the way up on it. <laughs> it's almost like it's her birthday, too. <laughs> what is Yuma's birthday, by the way? Uh, like it's in August, August, isn't it? No, she's like January. January. Like, she's a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah, right. She's a Capricorn. That explains a lot. 
I don't want to feed her too much. Who's the pig expert? Oh, oh she, she can, can eat it. it. Oh, yeah, just one more bite and then we'll, we'll end it. All right, hey, you know what? Uh, thank, thank you, you Yuma. Yuma. You're the best, pig. <laughs> 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 All right, buddy. Thank you so much for joining me Thank today. You for having me. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, and you're welcome to come over anytime, dude. You you can hang here, man. Like, I'll be back. Sorry, we got let's get this a camera just. adjusted for the for the ending. It's like our last shot is the worst. Yeah. Um, but seriously, you're welcome to come over here anytime. Thank you. Yeah, I could, dude. If you ever need anything. If you ever come back to Kansas, I'd probably have the coolest house there. Okay, great. <laughs> There's a lot of houses <laughs> there. So that's rail, like, not going back home. Fantastic. I will be jumping. And I'll actually be in Kansas in early September. Okay. So I'll be back then. Sweet. But anyway, thank you for coming. Appreciate you, thank you. coming on Coffee with Kendall. And thank you for watching. And we will see you next Monday with a brand new episode. Thank you so much for coming. We're signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.